What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today is actually another Oktoberfest beer, and this one comes from the Flying Bison Brewing Company, and they're out of Buffalo, New York, and this is their Bison Fest. So this is a Merton style Oktoberfest that comes in at 6.3% alcohol by volume, 17 IBUs in the time of review. I have no idea how old this bottle is because there is no bottled on date, but Considering that it is Oktoberfest season, I'd imagine this is probably no older than around three months old, uh, give or take a couple of weeks. So yeah, anyway, this is one full disclosure that I've had before, uh, but it's been like, <laughs> I'm going to say this so many times over the next couple of weeks, but haven't had this one in like four or five years, just, just how it is. Uh, I remember enjoying it uh, and I wanted to review a Western New York Oktoberfest this year. I believe last year I did Resurgence their Oktoberfest. I did the Genesee Oktoberfest. So I want to do one this year and I decided on this one. So we're going to review it and hopefully it's quite delicious. So yeah, anyway, uh, so many local breweries now are coming out with Oktoberfest. If, you know, three or four years ago, there was only a handful of local uh, breweries in the Buffalo, New York area that were actually even making Oktoberfest, let alone, you know, canning or uh, uh, bottling them. So it's cool to see, you know, a, a bunch of different Oktoberfest <laughs> available locally, but let's give it a pour here. So yeah, actually, that, I don't know how it's going to come off on camera, but this is coming off more of like a Fespir. This is more of like a uh, light amber. It's a, it has more of like a golden uh, golden orange tinge to it. Like, uh, this more lo looks more Fespir-esque than Meriton as far as the uh, actual color goes. Uh, about a, it didn't film now, but it's maybe like uh, a third of a head of a um, off-white head, uh, thin film right now. But yeah, um, yeah, it looks like more like a Fespir. Uh as I swirled up here, the head definitely, like, like so many uh, this year, the, the, it's going to on camera look white, the head, or like off-white, and then I you know do a little bit of a swirl, and it's more of like a slight tan cream-colored head. Uh, but anyway, yeah, looks really nice. Let's get a nose. Ooh, that's nice. Real nice. There's a distinct spiciness from this one, which I enjoy. But yeah, really nice spicy hop character. Definitely like a noble hop character to it. Um, more of a toasted uh, white bread as opposed to a brown bread. Not a ton of caramel. This is more of like a toasted white bread. A little bit of nuttiness with that nice spicy hop character, which I'm digging. It smells on the sweeter side, but that spiciness is kind of knocking it down. And when I say spiciness, I mean like an actual spice as opposed to like a pepper-esque or anything. It has a spiciness from the hop character. Yeah, a little bit of honey too. Really nice. This is this nose is actually damn nice. Anyway, I want to get into it. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's it's a bit different um, from most of the Oktoberfest that I drank last year, and uh, the couple I've had so far this year. Has a more distinct spiciness, like I was getting the aroma. Definitely carries over. So right up front, toasted white bread, a little bit of like honey character as well. Pass through the palate, that spiciness from the hops uh, sneak in and kind of hits you and it, it sticks with you until the end. This one finishes semi-dry to full-on dry, not a lot of residual sweetness, really not bitter at all, but that spiciness blending in with that like semi-dry to full-on dry finish make me go back for more because it's kind of, you know, devoiding my, uh, <laughs> my palate of any saliva. So it's like, I got to go back. Body in this one's like lighter side of medium body, 6.3%. I'm okay with it. I'd like to see it at medium body, but a little bit, a little bit thin. Touch thin. Shout out to Paul. It's a bit thin. Uh, but the uh, mouthfeel on it, crisp, clean, relatively refreshing. I'd like to see personally, and again, this is personal preference, just like all my reviews. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit less dryness when I'm getting it. And I think it's not probably that the beer is super dry. I think that it's just a semi-dry finish blending in with that spicy hop character that's kind of making it feel like it's more dry than it actually is. Nice flavors, not overly complex. I'd like to see a little bit more of the malt character shine in this one. Outside that toasted white bread, a little bit of honey now on the taste and a little bit of nuttiness in the nose. I'd like to see maybe a little bit more caramel, a little bit more of like a darker like brown bread, just a more malt character in general. I think this is skewed a little bit too much to the hop side, which is rare for these styles. This is not like a hop bomb or anything, but I just don't think, I think I need a little bit more of a malt character to kind of balance it out for me personally. That said, I am enjoying it. 
the uniqueness to this beer is really nice. I, I haven't had an Oktoberfest that I can recall over the last couple of years that kind of have characters like this. And from, again, that aspect, I do enjoy it. Um, not my favorite local Oktoberfest. And again, I haven't had this one in four or five years. And I think I liked it a little better in the past. It can, can be my palate for sure. Probably my palate because it changes so often. Uh, that said, I do enjoy this one. So, um, you know, it's one of those things where I can't give it much higher um, as far as Bison Fest from Flying Buying, uh, Flying Bison goes. I can't give it Flying Buying. What the hell is wrong with me? Bison Fest from Flying Bison. I can't go much higher than a uh, slightly high 3.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 3.55 out of 5 for this one. I do enjoy it. I want a little bit more balance for my personal um, palate, so to speak. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit skewed more to the hop side of things as far as like the overall taste goes. Um, but, you know, as is, it's really unique, quite tasty. Um, I enjoy it, but I just lack of complexity and a lack of uh, cohesiveness for me personally. A little bit of a letdown. That said, 3.55 out of 5 is a solid score. Uh, if you've had this one before locally here in the West New York area, let me know what you think about it. I'm sure a lot of people have had this one because, you know, this is one of the few Oktoberfests that's been around for a long time in the West New York area. Price and availability, pretty sure I paid under 2 bucks for a bottle of this. I'm sure six packs are, you know, around 10 bucks, which is, you know, the going rate for uh, Oktoberfest locally. So pretty good uh, value. Um, availability, Western New York, that's where Flying Bison is. Uh, these might you know, get outside the area to like, maybe might get out to like Syracuse. I don't know. I don't know how far Flying Bison distributes. I definitely know they're available in the Western New York area. So if you're in the Western New York area, you should be able to grab this one. And yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I always give a style rating for Oktoberfest because I always mention that's not one of my favorite styles. Stylistically, I couldn't give this one much higher than like a 3.75 out of 5. Uh, again, I, I think it's pretty good. I think this kind of is 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 unique but like i said stylistically actually i might go like 3.65 out of 5 i think it's just slightly better than my personal opinion i think that hop character for me is a little bit too big uh but again this is all personal preference somebody might drink this one and be like oh man i love the balance of this one i love the cohesiveness i'm getting a ton of malt character and that's fine that's why we all review these beers um but for me like like i said i think it leans more to the hop side of things not as much of a malt character i do enjoy the uniqueness but i think stylistically for me it's not there but anyway 3.55 out of 5 per Personal 3.65 out of 5 for the style. Bison Fest, Flying Bison had before. Let me know what you think about it. At 6.3%, this is one of the bigger Oktoberfests I've had this year. Can't really tell there's any alcohol, so that's a plus for me. Anyway, take it easy. Cheers. Oh, wait. Check back next Wednesday for another West New York Wednesday. Not but cheers. Cheers. <laughs>